Sup guys, it is me, T Gaming, back again with another part of my le of my Let's Play on Sonic Riders 2 Zero Gravity for my Road to Sonic Forces. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I forgot every time you leave the loading the, the opening screen on to unlock something will play out. Like either a re replay or the opening cutscene again. No, it's a replay. Who cares? <laughs> so last time you guys saw us, uh, we played the hero story, and now we move on to the Babylon story. Wait. Just like, just like in Riders 1, if you guys want to find out more about what's really going on in the plot, you gotta play, you gotta play both stories. And with the, and just like, yeah, just like in Riders 1, uh, the Babylon story gives us more detail about, more detail about the origins about the stones that Sonic and Friends came across of. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Care of that trap? Yep. Shooting star. Hey, what you doing there, Wave? Making a wish. Hmm. They say if you make a wish before it disappears, it'll come true. <laughs> How old are you? Grow up, right, boss? Uh oh. All right, Star. Give me the power to beat it. I made a wish and nothing happened. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, here we are in the beginning of the Babylon story, and that is to escape from the ruins. Finish the course within 3 minutes and 42 seconds. No way I'm gonna lose! Ah, oh, way too short. <laughs> I came in way too fast. Ooh, oh, fuck that. I'll take this. Thank you. Oh! Fuck! I forgot I had no boost because I failed the failed the starting line. Nice. Increase the max speed. Nice. 
So yeah. So just like in Riders 1, the Babylon story stages are pretty much alternate versions of the hero story stages. So you got the Geeking Device, which is an alternate version of the Geeking Rocks. I didn't even attack mode. I'm like, I wanna hit uh, Storm so bad. Crap. Right. So much stuff to right here. Boost stuff. Just like the boost off up. Like all those coffins and everything. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's also hidden pathways that open up depending on which place you're in, but it does not open up for people who are in first, so don't even think about that. Uh, secret passages. Uh, secret packages. Passages! Nice. Yeah, that's why I love that last part. Do you have so much stuff to, to like, boost off of? Oh no, I didn't make it. Oh yeah, then there's this item, which is pretty much your Sonic version of the blooper. You remember the blooper from Mario Kart? Yeah, that item is something that was pretty much the Sonic version of it. Okay, so that was the first stage, and on to the second. Hmm. Aha! I figured it out, Jet. Yeah? What you got? As I suspected, the Ark of the Cosmos is an engine unit for the Babylon Garden, invented by our ancestors. An engine part? Not just any part. I'll need to analyze it further. But I think this stone's magnetic field is able to transmute a planet's mass energy and create a singularity uh, to... Can the boring speech? What can this thing do for me? To put it simply, the stone can temporarily charge up gravity, then convert it to power Babylon Garden's warp drive. Sounds promising. So, that power was gravity, huh? One more thing. The Babylonian scrolls say there are five arcs of the cosmos. One serves as the master unit, while the other four attract each other and serve under it. Okay, so if they attract each other, you should be able to make some kind of arc-finding radar. Get on it! Understood. The boss! Keep it down! And what do you want? <laughs> T take a look at this! Still be in the city area. Once again, that was the scene from Megalo City Museum this morning, when a Meteotech security robot stole a meteorite on display. The robot is at large and is suspected to still be in the city area. That's an arc of the cosmos! Storm, set a course for Megalo Station at full throttle! Roger that, boss! Ha! Huh. 
These things really do attract one another. Yeah, no shit. That's what she just said, Jed. All right, you ready, man? On to Mega Station to chase down the robot. What's that? It's not Mega Station. It's Nart. It's Nightside Rush. I hope you're ready for this. Star Wars. I just like this is one thing I. This is where you gotta really pay attention to detail when it comes to the character models. I'm noticing something. Else. I know, I know, like, like, I know from like looking at the details of the story. I know each character, like, like, you can't uh, produce gravity. I want you to have a, a stone attached to you. I think it's a stone has it. You guys, but you guys look at his uh, left arm. Like, see that little ring there? I think that's like, I don't know like, what that is, but I think that's one of them. I don't know if you guys know, but I think that's his. I think that's his. Excuse me, many characters besides Sonic and Jet. You know, you know, giving character uh the opportunity to use it so yeah that's what I, that's that it's always been bugging me ever since i was that storm's uh character model but i think that's one of them like what else can it be the ring that has has uh what's it called that has the power of the gravity uh embedded into it i don't know so i think goes for like character like tails not least but you know that's just the ring Oh yeah, Night Night Rush. Just pretty much the ultimate version of Nebula Station. And I'm at also a really bad start. Oh, but it was nice of the robots to open up this shortcut for me. Thank you. All the battle ones they did, I find this one the most, uh, the most difficult. This one should be a little too strong. I don't know, like, it's just so hard. The AI is a really, really hard person. Oh, Alright, that shortcut got, got me in the second place, so I'll take that. Yeah, I like this play, I like Storm's play. It actually looks like a little bit of a roadhog. A roadhog. I can never get that. I can never get that top half one. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I think and now is a good time to end off this video. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more content of this game. And next time you guys see me, uh, we will uh, head on further to the Babylon story, so until then, I'm Kimmy, and signing off. Goodbye.